the greatest two words in the English language. Free. That's what I got, and it's a free board game. On Slack, somebody said, I need to get rid of some games. And I was like, I'll take it and give it a nice home. So we are looking at Old West Impisario. I have no idea what this is about. I was like, free game? Sure. I need content. That's what I'm doing here. So this appears to be a city building game with dice drafting mechanics. So I like the, the reason why I kind of picked it up is because of the artwork. It looks very nice. Artwork is very important for some apparent reason to me. I like pretty games and pretty games. So let's take a look at the inside. Of course, on top, rule book. Oh, different effects. All right. So you, I guess in the game we're gonna have an inn, a mine, a distillery, woohoo, a saloon, woohoo, carpenter, church, a whale. Everyone needs a whale. Tax office, zoning office. In the Old West? Really? Uh, this area is uh, designated for tumbleweeds. Planning office, monument, always need a monument, library, warehouse, census bureau, courthouse, native affairs, and town hall. So they went kind of all out there. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Rule book seems pretty straightforward. All right, there's A, A, B, B. Score pads, and then you set up all these in a row, and then you put cards under houses and stuff. So F. So 62 tiles, they are mixed together in the lid. Use of the lid in a game. Claim a, uh, claim a tile. I claim this tile in the name of Spain. Discard the income for it, activate your town. Round and round. Ooh, characters. Zebedee, the landowner. Trent, the politician. Let's see if there's uh, tokens for these peoples. Oh, well, no, not really. I think there are, but it's kind of just like... We'll just look at keep here. Uh, there's Scarlet, the saloon owner. Michelle, the blacksmith. Merle! Nakuma, Royce, the shopkeeper. You get an innkeeper, the specialist. They do everything. Or one thing very specific. Sister Josephine, Sheriff Wynn. Like I said, you've got all the buildings fixed. All right, let's take a look at an important thing, money. Money is always important. Not as good as ASMR. I should say money's important in board games. Kind of need it in life too, but. All right. Nice little chunky $5 bills. Fairly easy to pick up coins. Whoa! These are nice. I like these. Ones and fives. Hopefully, the, the, you don't need a huge amount of monies. Is there. It's not a huge amount, but it's a good amount. Player ability cards. We shall see. Different, all the cards for everybody. Everybody has special abilities. <clears throat> Let's take a look at, ow, my elbow. The standard impar uh, impresario, the base person. Get one, I'm guessing person, and three coin when uh, achieving a wanted card. And uh, nah, 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 who looks fun to play? Irving the innkeeper, instead of activating the ability when the, uh, with the leftover die, you may pay one and one person to claim a tile from that column. The standard. Why is this? Why is this sheriff standard? I think the sheriff would be specially. Gave one worker and three when achieving a wanted action. Up. I need to read this part first. 
or are they different on different sides? They're different on each side. That's why people come here is for the high quality content and uh, knowledge of board games. Because I'm wanted! I guess you grab people. Ooh, on the back. Three, uh, you get three times as something equals one and one. Three constructed buildings of the same uh, type color. Reward four. Okay, wanted cards are objective cards because they're wanted to be done. And these are more, these are, I'm guessing, more the harder ones to do. Again, I have not looked at this game at all, so I have no clue how to play it. But, peoples! There's a whole bunch of peoples. There's that guy. I'm going to call him Glenn. And Sassafras Jones. It looks like, supposedly, these are the spare people. I'm wondering what that's all about. Oh, the most important thing in all games that are about dice, the dice! Not bad. Looks like the colors of Western Michigan or uh, Wyoming football teams. Very rustic-y brown, like the Broncos and the Cowboys. I'm guessing these were the dice go if you roll them. All out of order, there's a three, a four, a five, a four, a six. The Picasso version of playing this game. All right. What do we have here? Nice, chunky. Tiles! All the buildings. Carpenter, double-sided. I'm thinking that's the inactive, active, inactive, active, inactive, active, inactive, active. I just pulled up a second carpenter. The distillery. Very good, chunky. My daughter says we always have to have an ASMR section. So this looks like a, and a cowboy. I want to be a cowboy. And you can be my cowgirl, yeah. So this looks like a very interesting and fun game. So let's take a look at what does, is the library on here? Library, library. Looks like you have to have a worker, a one, two, or three. No effect. Then you come over here. Uh, one victory point for each unique activation number represented in your town. Okay. Distillery. Oh, way up here. Uh, no money and two people. Oh, pay one money for two VP tokens. I'm guessing... These are victory points. Peoples in your towns. So, uh, yeah. Rosa, 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 Rosa Diaz. She gets you a victory point. And one victory point per adjacent saloon. Oh, you get to have some combos. What does a, a saloon do? Uh, collect one for each adjacent adjacent constructed building. So that's kind of... Hey, look! I have this. So it's a victory point for this one and a victory point for this one. More c -c 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 combos 
and one victory point per adjacent to, uh, yep, distillery. So they both combo off each other. Uh, da, da, da. Do we have a church? Yep. So you could have your distillery, saloon, and then a church next door. It's like my hometown. Hey, that's not what that is. Where's a saloon? That was two churches back to back. That's still, it's like my hometown. Eh. You can mine. No, mine. No, mine. So this looks like a fun game. I might be able to teach people's. Fairly looks straightforward rule books. Hey, there is an active and an active side. Thank you, New Bedford. It's that kind of a system there with the tiles. Building towns. 66 population victory point tokens. So create a supply pile of 15 VP per player. Oh, that's what I see like these giant numbers is like two people's 30 victory points. Or, or, I was thinking it was like player two to 30 victory points. That's a lot of victory points to start with. That's craziness. So again, fun artwork, city building. One of the things I like dice drafting, not bad. I know some people don't like it, but I don't mind it. So this is old West impresario. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and get, try this out. 